Hi, I'm Paul with Willox Law. Today we're going to talk about funding your vehicles into your trust. Cars, boats, the trailers underneath boats, RVs, quads, dirt bikes, all these assorted things that have titles need to be funded into the trust in order for the trust to do its job. Every state has its own rules about moving vehicles after death. Sometimes you can avoid probate with just a death certificate and your heirs can take the death certificate down to the Secretary of State and transfer it. However, not every state's the same and sometimes you don't have those rules available at all. So what we're talking about today is moving those vehicles into trust. That way after you're gone, somebody's around with the authority to transfer those vehicles. If we decide we want to put those vehicles into the trust, we should be aware that if your vehicle is subject to a lien or a note, if you have a car payment, that most note holders don't like you moving the vehicles into trust. So you may end up having to pay off that car before you move it into the trust. Also understand that if you've disinherited a child, many of the state laws that do allow for non-probate transfers of vehicles do go to your heirs at law which may not respect a disinheritance. So you should be aware of those laws if you're going to decide not to fund a vehicle into the trust. If you do decide to fund that vehicle into the trust, you'll take it to the Secretary of State, the title that is, and you'll transfer that vehicle from you. You're going to sell it to the trust. So Sue Smith, trustee of the Sue Smith Trust, is your buyer for zero dollars. Different states may have different laws about what happens when you do that. You may have to pay fees or things of that nature. So you should be aware of that before you make those transfers. If you have any questions about anything we've discussed today, do me a favor and give us a call. I've been Paul with Willox Law.